Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Gangies, Need a light? Gangies is a very typical Harrison Armory mech, slow, tough, and lots of heat cap, but Gangies is a little special about this, it is completely immune to burn, and if it gets structured, it also cool all heat, even its core power can be triggered from having too much heat, meaning, Genghis is a frame that gives the least amount of fuck to heat, which also means you are recommended to overcharge like mad. This even applies to its systems too, as in the following 40 Gangies builds, you will find quite a few builds with auto cooler or Agni, both lets you cool very rapidly and basically solve any heat problems very quickly, explosive vents take advantage of this to deal even more damage to anything nearby. Even better, the weapons, both Krakatoa and Plasma Thrower, deal quite a lot of burn in a cone, there's also the Havoc charges, but with Gangies having a heavy mount, it's not that useful to it. As for the role, Gangies is tough enough that it can survive and thrive in close quarter combat very well, so it really enjoy being a striker, but of course, it's just as easy to modify it to excel in artillery role too with all the weapon mounts, since its traits basically works at any range, anyway, let's talk about the striker controller builds first. Hotfoot Heiki Sack is a Agni Plasma Thrower Gangies that's about being a living danger to anything close to it, which is basically every single striker Gangies really, heat fall for lower overcharge cost, auto cooler for rapid cooling, you just want to keep overcharging and keep firing, even better, this Gangies has some Cobalt Invade tools to force enemies to move or explode. However, this Gangies is a bit more on the fragile side, and also 5 sensor range isn't very good for tech action, but yes, as you can see, it's absurdly easy for Gangies to handle a lot of heat, in combination with a couple Harrison Armory Core bonuses, so it is very tempting to just smash that overcharge button every goddamn turn. F-105 Thunder Chief is one of the numerous flying Gangies in this episode because Gangies is slow, but with flight and ace, it can move fast at the cost of heat, which Gangies doesn't give a damn about, just burns things up, moves things at will, and if you are ever in danger, just fly away or use reactive weave. Imposter, is an invisible infiltrator Gangies that can jump over obstacle, sneak around, and just surprise people with inferno, if things get too hot, you have ghost weave so you can just sneak away with no problem. Hobo with a super shotgun is a Gangies that wants to stick close to people and damage them through a reverse overcharge loop. Basically, get close, stabilize to trigger explosive vent and reload the cannibal, dealing a lot of damage, and then overcharge, step back with skirmisher, and fire both barrel of the cannibal. Having RMJ helps a lot in making you even tougher than normal, and with Grease Monkey too, doing all the frequent stabilize makes you basically immune to most conditions, and if enemy gets too close and cannibal is out, you have a super massive DSAS. Highway to the danger zone is also another flying ace gangies, if the name wasn't obvious enough, one that has a selection of weapons to burn, impale, or just explode people with, and heat fall to do all the actions with, very basic, but gangies is a striker anyway, so just goes nuts on all the attacks. Firestorm approaching is an Agni lightning generator gangies that wants to get extra spicy up close, with 16 goddamn heat cap, you can just go completely insane with heat, overcharge like mad, and even if you overheat, it doesn't matter because everything is probably dead already, however, it is kinda slow, so you might need a bit of help on getting close. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone is also another half Manticore Gangies, but now with external batteries to extend the range of its annihilator and arc projector, which with heavy gunner, gets very silly and immobilizes a lot of things in its path, which just means it's easier for you to get close and murder them all. Nobody else but Mingus Kingus is also also another half Manticore Gangies, that solves the problem of its praise running away with a ferro fluid lance, now you can zap them all day long, you also have EMP pulse, which doesn't mean much for Gangies with how tough it is, not so much for its opponent however. G Gadril Genghai, I assume the missing S is intentional, probably, is a combat drill Gangies, which thanks to Pankrati and Speed 5, can move 15 spaces in one go and then drill someone's face off, which thanks to Gangies' absurd heat cap, the overkill heat is not a problem, you also have plenty of tools and traps to pin things down, so it is very easy to trigger all the bonus damage. Knives Million Degrees, as clearly stated by its name, 
is a shock knife spam build with shock read to burn and blind everything, it can also fly, but doesn't have ace, it does have hunter however, for both mobility and stabbing. Finally, there's easy living, for people who want to striker but also be very lazy, just get to somewhere safe with jump jet and ace, and keep overcharging and shooting the accurate nano comp heavy machine gun until you get tired of shooting, you even have heavy gunner so you can shut down close range strikers quite well, just sit back, relax, and keep clicking heads. And that's all for the striker controller gangies, just the simple fact of having heavy mount alone makes dealing tons of damage very easy for gangies, and it's useful to have some control instead of just pure damage sometimes, anyway, let's get going with some striker defender builds next. 3 armor buddies is a house guard gangies with argonaut shield and enclave shield to shield allies with, with 3 armor, gangies can really take a beating, and with black thumb, the pilot can support its allies directly too, plus, it has the leviathan, an auto cooler so you could fire it practically forever. Slow fire truck misunderstood the assignment is a Fomorian house guard battle taxi gangies, also with argonaut shield to protect its rider well and still be very lethal to its foes. Burning for you is a hyper dense heavy gunner Krakatoa gangies, this build is basically almost impossible to die, and anything that wants it to must get close which is the perfect range band for this build. Bullshit Blazing is a tech focused gangies with Horo S2 to protect allies with, plus with Beckon and Horo S1, this gangies can easily gather and and move enemies around, albeit at a very short range, which just makes it real easy to burn all the hostile down. Tower defense is instead a half kit gangies with Forge 2 squad to build stuff like emplacement to shoot over obstacle and still get hard cover, or just other stuff to support your allies with, just stay up there and become a watchtower that can shoot anything that comes too close. Acheron's Parasol is a half white witch house guard gangies that comes with a bunch of shield to protect allies with and ferro fluid lance to keep enemy focused on it, and the more they hit it, the more the retort loop is going to hurt. Lastly, there's the Ubisoft Radio Tower, a house guard gangies that's more about supporting with black spot, pepcock, and empath, but still can hurt things just fine to anything that gets too close, also comes with a tempest drone for things that need to be pushed away. And that's all for the striker defender builds, tough enough to protect allies with, and often, still packs enough firepower to get rid of things that try to hurt its allies, of course, you can also perfectly build striker gangies that just wants to destroy everything ever, which is what we will talk about right now. Miniature throwing flamethrowers is a gangies with like all the goddamn shock knives and sword and molten wreaths for basically all the exploding cuts, even at minimum, a barrage would deal like 25 goddamn damage, Hunter and Pankrati give this gangies plenty of mobility, and with 3 armor, you could actually do the molten wreath explosion right back at you to deal with anything behind you safely. Face tank is a gangies with a croil rifle, that's not unique on its own, but when enemy moves, you boost, and RMJ triggers whenever you boost, so you effectively get free over shield for more protection every time an enemy you have shot tries to run away from you, now you can really just get rid of them in your own time. Finally, there's my danger zone is your 2 stress, a lucifer nuclear cavalier plasma thrower gangies with 18 heat cap, which basically translates to a lot of fucking damage, worse, this gangies has brutal, which knock down people on crit, which mean you can then knock people into the white hot flame zone, brutal also gives accuracy on miss, so somebody is going to get hurt real bad no matter what each time you fire it up. And that's all on the pure striker gangies, these things are just pure balls of murder, and while they can only do that, gangies is tough enough that any mistake can be absorbed easily, now, let's move on to the artillery builds. Behold the true power of Samadhi is an Azura EXT Bat Tachyon Lance Gangies that's going to do a lot of beam spam with RSU for quick cooling, and yes, I know, this is basically a standard Sherman build in a different frame, but it works. Rods from God is instead a Siege Cannon Gangies, which uses heat fall overcharge and external ammo feed for quick reload and auto cooling to cool all the heat quickly, allowing it to fire the big cannon every goddamn turn. And yeah, that's basically how artillery gangies works, thanks to its variety of weapon mounts, it can pack all the big guns and shoot all day long, all the range helps the fact that it's a bit slow, and it's tough enough that it can survive close encounter with a lot of things, but what about artillery builds that dabble into other roles a bit? Ride of the Valkyries is another flying ace gangies that can shoot out plenty of missiles for all the knockback and a lot of bombs on top of its foes, blink charges can also be used to help out allies too, quite versatile. Some men just want to see the world get displaced is of course, a displacer gangies build, which with 16 heat cap, firing the displacer isn't really toasty, it gets better, 
a displacer that benefits from crack shot, OP cal, and walking armory can easily do even more damage, plus EXT bat for more range, and when you need cover, you have stasis barrier, and could fire the howitzer to shake things up a bit. With its traits not relying on distance, Gangies could really excel in just about any range, and in an emergency, its core power can be used to let it get away easily, anyway, that's all 40 Gangies builds, finished. Once again, I would like to thank all of my viewers who have submitted their builds to this episode, I gotta say, after a couple episode of 8 base system points frames, Gangies is way easier to understand and build, just chug a lot of weapons in it and you are basically finished with it, no need for galaxy brain tactic, you just need galaxy brain damage. Anyway, here's the topic for the next episode, that's all for now and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.